afternoon my darlings starting the vlog with a little bit of a road trip today so we've actually had quite an intense morning that's why i'm only picking up the camera just now um we have been doing a little bit of content creation around the house for vice spring our beloved mattresses we had the team come over to shoot some content so they're doing like a lifestyle brochure which they asked us to be a part of which of course we said yes to because we feel like we are number one fans in the vice spring fan club um so yeah it's quite a busy morning shooting around the house Luckily, we have the most gorgeous day. Um, but now, as per usual, the house is full. We have got the full team working on finishing the wardrobes. I'll give you an update of Charlie's wardrobe in particular when we get it's back. nearly done. I say wardrobe, it's basically gonna be a shoe showroom, isn't it? It is, well, obviously, what, what's strange is, until, well, obviously, until it's all come together, it's really hard, I found it really hard to visualize. I think you're better, much better at visualizing than me. And now it's all together, I'm even happier than I was when we put the design together. It's basically half shoes, half clothes. Yeah, I, I would say leaning slightly more towards the 75% shoes. But no, anyway, no, anyway, I'll show you that later. Uh, but because we've got a house full and we've, yeah, the house is literally full of people right now and we can't get any work done. So we and are using it. And we're trying to socially distance. Yeah, of course we are being very socially distanced. So Charlie and I have taken that as our perfect excuse to get out of the house. But more excitingly, we have some new gadgets <laughs> that we want to play with. And Charlie and I have been thinking about getting electric scooters for a very long time now, I've, especially I mean, when I've we're in London. I've literally been on about getting one for ages, haven't I? Yeah. I think, to be honest, they're going to be amazing out here, but I always wish we'd had one in London. I think this is going to make us realise what we're missing out on. Yeah, but we can always take it with us when we go to London. Oh yeah. But basically, we have two new electric scooters from a brand called Xiaomi. Now, I'm going to put Xiaomi on the screen here because you might have seen it written down. Um, and like me, we could go not known, firstly, how to say it, and secondly, what and who this brand is. But they are pro when it comes to creating electric scooters and also fitness vans. Well they're tech, they're tech, they're very very tech driven and they create a lot of innovative products yeah. and I think the reason that probably people won't be as familiar is they're quite new to the UK market Yeah. so it's quite fun for us to sort of I guess show you guys what sort of stuff they do. Exactly. If this is anything like my experience on a Segway in Rome, it could be quite comical. Oh my goodness. I nearly ended up <laughs> in a river, but I'm feeling confident. I did have a little play on them already at the house and they are very fun indeed. So they're basically- They're quick though, aren't they? They're, yeah. They are quick. I mean, it's unbelievable uh, that they've got so much speed and they're electric. It's, it's pretty incredible. Charlie and I are going fully electric, thinking about investing in an electric car, oh, yes. electric scooter. But we thought to get away from the house um, and to find somewhere that's off the road, to thinking of safety first, to try them out. We're going to a local, I think it's a National Trust property or like something similar no, to that. it is National Trust, I think. Is it? I think so. It's called Upton House. Um, no idea if it's actually open today, we've not checked, but hopefully we'll be able to just scoot around the grounds to get the feel of the scooters. I think that we'll mostly use these to like zip up to the local shops, things well, like I, that. I've already used I've already used it once to go and get fruit and veg that we had forgotten to get from the village shop, didn't I? Yeah. And I had to get there in about 10 minutes because they closed for lunch. Our village shop closes between one and three, which can be quite challenging. Yeah. And obviously, yeah, it massively helped. <laughs> I think also it's important to mention that we have moved to the countryside, fairly middle of nowhere, and we only have one car. So if yeah. you're at meetings, or I'm at meetings, or either of us at the gym, it's good to have a mode of transport that one of us can use in if we if we want to go anywhere. Yeah. So basically that's where we're heading now. We're gonna try out our scooters. I'm very excited to show you. I think we're gonna get a lot of use out of them. So stay tuned, this could be interesting. from the car, we've been having a little bit of a play around. 
So Charlie's is the Xiaomi electric scooter Pro 2. Correct, the brand new one. Brand spanking new. This is the 1S. This is going to be £599, this is going to be £499. But the, the, the key thing is, the key difference that we've noticed between the two is really just the stats. So they both go the same speed, but it's all about the distance you want to go. Mm -hmm. The new one, this new bad boy, goes about 10 kilometres longer on a charge. Mm -hmm. So it really just depends on what you want from it. Yeah, I mean for us, we're not going to be going huge stretches. I think you we... charge it in between each time you use it. Yeah, and I think I think um, and, and the thing that we've noticed the most is how light they are. Yeah. So this is this actually weighs less than my kettlebells in the gym. So you can put it up and down in a few seconds. Um, take it out the car if you're doing a day trip like this. If you're exploring the Cotswolds, then it's great to have in your car if you want to do lots of exploring. And they just look beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really happy. With Very them, snazzy. Epic. I'll leave the link down below. a little break from the scooting. Xiaomi also very kindly sent us their new fitness band. This is the Mi Smart Band 5. It's basically a fitness watch, but it's really great for tracking your fitness progress. Um, it's got 11 different workout settings on there. You can track your progress from things like rowing, which as you know, Charlie and I are doing in the gym a lot, power walking, outdoor cycling, um, swimming. So it's actually water resistant up to 50 meters, which is epic, especially if you're like a scuba diver. Not many watches go up to 50 meters. That's really cool. Um, obviously you don't need to take it off in the shower, which is fantastic for after your workout. Also very clever in that because it's got the heart rate monitor in it, it monitors your sleep as well. So that can help you to learn a little bit more about your stress levels. I know fitness watches can be really expensive, but this one is $39.99, which I think is pretty darn good. So it'll be interesting to see how many steps I do today. So we're back from our scooting antics and I'm going to give you another update of the coach house because quite a lot has been done in here since I last bought you. Um, still a bit of a building site, but we have painted walls mostly and anti-code flooring. So this is the entrance area. It looks a lot brighter and more fresh now that the walls are painted. It sure looks amazing, doesn't it? They're obviously going to have to come in and do another coat because we still don't have light switches, electric sockets, and there's still some areas that need to be plastered. And on the ceiling, they need to install the lights. But the guys from Gaskin Flooring have been busy little bees and they have installed this beautiful Antico flooring. So this um, is the farmhouse oak colour, which colour? I don't know if you'd call it a colour or a choice option. And it's really beautiful. So it looks just like the beautiful oak that we've got in the house. Really lovely natural colouring. And we went for the herringbone pattern. They do a border all around the edges. The reason it's not up to the wall here is because we're getting some lovely utility units um, installed, maybe even tomorrow. So hopefully this little area can get pulled together. Within a week, I'm hoping this whole place will be done. Um, so if we take the corridor down here, this room is, aside from the electrics, pretty much done. So we now have the lovely crown paint pavilion on the walls, we don't have the new light fittings in place yet, but they are here. Um, I might open those up and show you the new light fittings. The screws in the walls are for the little bedside tables. And then this is the Farnham carpet from Korma Carpets. Again, installed by Gaskin Flooring, and it's just so lovely. It's like a like a raised wool. It just feels very kind of countryside-y and really lovely and soft. What do you think, Dolly? It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks, once the lights are in, we're done. Windows need to clean, um, so I have to do that. But yeah. it looks fantastic. It really, it really does. The 
carpet I'm a bit envious of really. Yeah. So we've not got any carpet in our house. We don't. And it is proper comfy. Charlie's exhausted. Oh, I am knackered. We're not since half five. I couldn't get up for the gym this morning. No, I know, darling, because I tried. Did <laughs> you do a coffee cold? Yesterday? No, it was lovely. Was it actually? It was the perfect temperature by the time I finally stirred. <sighs> but yeah, this carpet is absolutely gorgeous. And then when we go upstairs, so actually the, it just looks so lovely, this flooring. I think it looks so elegant. I think herringbone design is so lovely. And they've even gone to the, tr the trouble of doing a border around the pillars for the staircase. Um, my camera's not liking it though. <laughs> And we are going to be having the same Farnham, I think it's called Farnham Fleece from Cormar Carpets going up the stairs. But we're going to wait until all the building work is done before we do that. Oh, I've just realised the horrific red wall has yeah, gone. gone. Yay! I need one more coat. Yay, yay, yay! It looks good. Oh my goodness. Fantastic. What colour is that? Yeah, definitely needs another is that coat. Cozy? Um, this is canvas. This is mm. Graham and Brown's canvas. Same as our lounge. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, definitely needs one more coat, but that is looking absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it really ties everything in because then in this bedroom here, we've got the same beautiful carpet. Needs a hoover, but where we don't have um, electricity up here at the moment, we are unable to vacuum clean. Will you bring up the wireless Dyson? Yeah, we need to bring up the Dyson. I'll probably do that um, later on. And we've got white glove on the ceiling in here, which makes it so nice and fresh. Let me run and so we can smash it. Yeah, good idea. Hey, hey, yeah. We've got the first coat of the primer on the ceiling in here, and it looks so much higher and lighter and brighter. It really does look, yeah, I mean, you can see where it used to be. A few people said, oh, you're not keeping the original wood. Well, we've got a lot of original wood. Um, in the house and we thought that because the view is so striking here it would be lovely to um, have I mean look at that that is like a painting so a lot of the hashtag QOTD question of the days recently have been Josie what are you doing with the coach house why are you renovating it in such a hurry what is the long-term plan and a lot of you guessed it you are correct my mum is going to be moving in here Lala is going to be living in the coach house she's just going to absolutely love it it is maybe a tiny bit bigger than where she lives now I'm not sure maybe about the same size but as you may know my mum and I are very very close and it's going to be lovely to have her living what will feel like just across the road. So it's gonna be so special when she moves in. So of course we want it to be absolutely perfect for her. It's gonna be really exciting when we get this place furnished. I think she's gonna use that room there as her dressing room, that room there as her bedroom. I think long-term plan will be for us to actually put in a whole new kitchen um, and we're gonna do a whole new bathroom as well, but that is the next phase. I feel like all the work we're doing is just phase by phase by phase. It really is going to look so lovely when it's done. I think that wall's been painted in canvas as well. We've got a new stove installed. I can't remember if I've shown you that before, um, but that is so much nicer than the old one, a really nice height. And then, did I show you this room? It's got, oh, I just love the ballet shoes pink. It looks actually a lot pinker on camera. It looks a little bit more earthy toned in real life. Um, but again, with the gorgeous, I don't know why my camera doesn't enjoy focusing on it. But yeah, again, with the fleece, farm fleece carpet, it really is so lovely. I've never had, I don't think, carpets this pale before. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be too challenging keeping them looking clean. Charlie is busy vacuum cleaning the bedrooms. This boy loves a vacuum. Oi! Let me in, mate. Sorry. Is it really satisfying doing it on a new carpet? It is, yeah. Honestly, I've never known anyone love vacuuming as much as this boy. This floor just looks so beautiful. It looks so old, but the herringbone makes it look so What's the word? Contemporary? Don't know, I just absolutely love it. I am embarrassed to reveal that this is all I had the energy to muster up for dinner. 
Luckily, we always keep some emergency pizzas in the freezer. And I know what you're thinking, Josie, a photo shoot day is hardly exhausting, but they are pretty intense. You have to be always on it during a shoot day. And neither Charlie nor I slept very well last night or the night before, because we're not in our normal bedroom. So we're not on our vice spring mattress and the church bells are going off at four o'clock in the morning. So I think I'm gonna pop on a Gossip Girl or a Selling Sunsets and enjoy my pizza. Good evening, darlings. I don't know where today has gone. It has literally been one of those days where it's just all been a bit of a blur. I decided to have a really nice bath. So I've taken my makeup off um, and I've just got out the most gorgeous bath. We finished off a bottle of Bramley bubble bath and it smells so good. I feel a little bit puffy. I've also taken my nail varnish off. It was starting to get a little bit chipped um, and I thought I would put some nail strengthener on before I go and get my nails done next week. But I thought I would quickly run through an evening, not really skincare routine, just basically I want to talk about some new products because they are heavenly. And it is the Balm de Rose skincare range from by Terry and I adore By Terry as a, as a makeup brand, as a skincare brand, everything about them I just adore and the Balm de Rose range is my absolute favourite. I go on and on about my love for rose products and By Terry are the absolute masters. Very excitingly, I'm going to be doing a live talking through this collection on their Instagram stories. What day are you watching this? tomorrow at 4 p.m. UK time, so Friday the 28th of August, 4 p.m. UK time, click on the By Terry Instagram because I'll be doing a live and I'm really excited to talk through these products, but I'm gonna use them this evening. So I used a more affordable <laughs> micellar water to take my makeup off before my shower and I always double cleanse. I think if you're just getting rid of the bulk of your makeup, then any old micellar water will do. But then when you're actually cleansing your skin, it's really nice to go in with one, which has got lots of additional skincare benefits. Rose is obviously super soothing. And if you treat your evening skincare routine as a bit of a pamper time, it's just lovely to have one that has all those luxurious elements, like this gorgeous fragrance. It's just so enjoyable. So I'm swiping that over my skin with one of my reusable cotton pads and a few people have asked how I wash them. You, when you buy reusable cotton pads, I'll leave mine linked down below, you often get this little bag with it and you just pop them in there, zip it up and pop it in the washing machine. I normally do it with my towels. Also in the range, there's a bi-phase makeup remover. So it looks like this, you have to shake it up um, and Bi-phase makeup removers are great for slightly more stubborn makeup. So if you've been wearing a lot of eye makeup in the day, um, or even sometimes when I used to wear, haven't worn one in ages, but those lip stains that really just don't come off with normal makeup remover, Bi-phase is amazing. It's just, it's a really gentle way of removing stubborn makeup. What I would recommend doing is holding it on your eye. So you want to obviously minimize the rubbing and that just, by holding it there for a few seconds really helps to dissolve, God, I'm seeing stars, <laughs> really helps to dissolve any makeup that might be there before you gently wipe it away. And even this, it smells incredible. And then finally, this is the Balm de Rose Beauty Toner. It has got actual rose petals in there. So you can just imagine <laughs> how much I love this. It looks beautiful in my cabinet and it really is not only are you getting all the beautiful skincare benefits that we know and love from by terry but it really is just the most heavenly experience this actually smells like perfume but there's not going to be any harsh artificial scents in here it's all just because it is jam-packed with those rose petals it's just oh, absolutely gorgeous I hope they might come out with that in a spray form as well because that would be so lovely to pop in your handbag. This next thing that I'm popping on my skin, I, can't, I can't tell you about it yet because it is secret until the 1st of September. It's very annoying, but it is a new launch coming very soon from Elizabeth Arden. 
and let's just say my skin absolutely loves it it is it is a game changer kind of scientifically as well as how the skin reacts to it so on the 1st of September I'm gonna be telling you guys all about this because it is amazing so that's what I pop on next I love the L'Occitane Immortel Reset range in the evenings it's absolutely glorious so I pop half a pump of their eye gel and I find eye gels much lighter than eye creams so I just pop a little bit of that really lightly massage that around the eye area don't get too close to your eyes um, just do a little light massage all the way around the eye area and then to be honest I like to leave my serum on my skin for a good kind of 10-15 minutes before I pop on my night cream. The night cream that I'm going to use is from a brand called Beauty Kitchen and they're a really gorgeous, 100% natural, really sustainable brand and their night cream is just absolutely gorgeous. That's over on my bedside table. I have just popped on the Clarins Plant Gold Nutri Revitalizing Oil Emulsion. If you are fairly new to using oil on your skin, but you've heard people saying how moisturizing and glow inducing an oil is, but maybe you are a little bit nervous to try an oil, this is the best of both worlds because it's an oil and a cream. And as you can see, my skin is not oily at all. It just leaves the most beautiful glow. And this, I think it must have lots of beautiful essential oils in there which some people say they don't like, but I personally love essential oils and my skin does too. Um, Cause it has the most gorgeous fragrance. And then on my lips, I'm going to use By Terry Balm de Rose. This is a very bougie lip balm, but I swear they last so, so long and it really is the best. You really can't beat it. So that's a little mini evening skincare routine. Um, I hope today's video wasn't too quick. I can see now I've been filming for eight minutes. So I'm feeling nice and pampered now. I'm gonna have a fairly early night and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good night.